guys, what's up? And welcome back to or welcome to my channel. So for today's video, we're going to be doing a jewelry collection declutter. So as some of you may know, I recently got my bedroom redone. And obviously with that comes a need to find a new home for pieces that you had previously in your room and one of those things for me is jewelry. So I don't really care about jewelry too much. Like obviously I wear it from time to time and on a daily basis I mostly just wear basic pieces like studs like these ones or a statement earring if I feel like the outfit needs it. Sometimes I'll throw on a simple necklace or a bracelet or a ring or two but it's not something that I like have to have and that I really invest in. I don't really have too many like high-end expensive pieces of jewelry just because I don't really have a need for that sort of stuff right now. Obviously I have a few things that I've gotten as gifts for like milestones and things like that that I will be keeping and I'll show you guys too. But a lot of the things that I have are just pieces that I've accumulated as gifts or things that I've just bought myself throughout the years and honestly for the rate at which I wear jewelry I have way too much for me to like ever possibly wear all of it and I just have so much that I forget about pieces that I have so hopefully I'll rediscover some pieces that I have in my collection through this video and start to incorporate them more into my wardrobe but other pieces I just don't think I really need anymore and I will be donating them or giving them to a friend or my sister or my mom or something. Before we get started, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. I upload twice a week, Tuesdays and Sundays, so I hope to see you back here on my channel in the future, but let's get into the fun stuff now. Okay, so before getting into all of the jewelry itself, I wanted to show you guys this organizational system that I actually got for my birthday. So this is hanging on my wall in my bedroom and it's just like a little jewelry cabinet. Before I had one of the like towers that you had on a dresser to store jewelry in and I honestly just didn't really like it that much so I ended up getting this new piece for my wall. By the way I will be doing a room tour sometime in the near future once everything is like super finalized but definitely stay tuned for that. Anyways this is um just this cute little piece. It's actually from Amazon. I think my mom found it on there. And my goal is to fit all of my jewelry with the exception of maybe some like more high-end pieces that I don't want to put in here. Um, I want to fit everything in here. So we have a lot of trimming down to do once you see everything that I do have. Um, but this is just a little like wire board. I might put like earrings or something on here. I'm not entirely sure yet. This is a cork board that you can stick earrings into. Obviously, here's just some little hooks that you might want to hang like shorter necklaces or bracelets on. Some more hooks over here and this like little bar that you might be able to put bracelets or something on. Um, also, I have this thing here, which I honestly don't really know what it's for. I might, I don't have like too many bracelets, but I might be able to hang some of them on that if it looks okay. And then down here is another little strip that's attached to the wall with these little hooks. And I'll probably just end up hanging longer necklaces on that. So let's go ahead and get into all of the jewelry. Okay, so I think for the most part, this is all of my jewelry laid out on my bed here. And obviously this thing has a whole bunch of stuff inside of it. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I think first I'm gonna tackle everything that is in boxes and do this last. I'm probably just going to set aside piles of things that I want to keep and not keep and organize it by the type of jewelry piece it is so it's easier to put it into the box afterwards. So let's start with this one. These are new pieces that I actually got for my birthday so obviously I'm going to be keeping them. These are just some earrings and some more earrings. These are also earrings I'm going to be keeping because they're all new. Don't you hate it when you get a big mess like this? Oh my gosh, this is the worst. Anyways, I know these are both necklaces, so I'm just going to set them aside in the necklace pile and deal with that later. These ones are also necklaces, so that's going to go in that pile as well. And those ones are new. I got them for Christmas, so I'm going to be keeping them. This is a bracelet that I got from FabFitFun, and this is new. I got it recently, so I'm still going to be keeping that because I think I will wear it. Okay, in this box here, we have earrings and a necklace. So, I'll take the necklace off and 
put that with the necklaces. And then these little stud earrings, I'm going to just put in this box because I don't want them to get lost until I put them in my organizer. Here we have more earrings. So I will put these in that box too. This is a necklace. I actually really like this one. Um, it has like a little key on it and it's kind of like simple and dainty. So I'm going to put that with the necklaces to keep. This has more earrings in it. So these will, I don't know. I mean, these ones, I don't know if I'm going to wear, but they're kind of nicer, so I think I might keep them just in case I ever have an occasion that I need to wear a nicer earring. This box here has some more stud earrings in it. These ones I'm going to keep because I wear like these sort of just like simple studs all the time. And you can never have too many because I feel like I always lose mine. So that is why I'm going to keep these ones. This necklace here I got for Christmas from my parents. So I'm obviously going to keep this. It's a um, constellation one for Capricorn. So I'll take that off of there because it doesn't need to stay on the packaging. Okay, this is an Alex and Ani bracelet. I just got this one for Christmas. So I'm going to keep this one and I'll put it with the bracelets. This box has some more earrings in it. Again, I just got these ones for Christmas. I know it seems like everything I have is new, but trust me, we're going to be getting into a lot of old stuff that I'm going to be getting rid of soon. But these ones I'm going to keep, obviously, since I just got them. Those will go with the earrings. Okay, this is a watch and bracelet set. I will keep the watch because um, I just got this, like, last year, and I feel like I need to like see it to wear it um let's see I don't I okay so the watch is a yes I will keep that um these little bangles I, I don't know what to do with these I don't know if I will wear them or not I don't think I want this one with the tassel on it so this is gonna be a no pile I might keep these little ones and this bigger one just in case I don't think I want maybe I do want that the rest of these I think I will hang on to but I might come back and declutter them depending on what else I have these are some stud earrings here these ones I'm going to keep because I think my grandma got me these and they're my birthstone so this is going to be a yes Okay, this is a necklace that I think Nico's aunt brought this back from Hawaii, if I'm not mistaken. So it's pretty cute and it's for like the summertime. So I will be keeping this one. This has some more studs in it. So I'm going to keep those just because I can always use them. Um, this necklace, I think that's pretty. I think I'm going to keep that. It's pretty simple, but still kind of like elegant. So I will keep that one. This is a cross necklace. I think my grandma got me this one too. So I'm going to keep that. And it has like my birthstone in the middle of it. So I feel like this is one that I can't declutter since it's like a nicer piece. Even though I don't wear it all that often, I think it would be cute. And obviously it's something special. Okay, this watch I am going to be getting rid of. I don't like that. I think this was like a hand-me-down or something. But that that's not for me. Um, these are little, I don't know what these are. I think these might have been from my grandma too. There's just like a little pearl earring and then these like little garnet ones, which is my birthstone. So I'll keep those. Gosh, I feel like I'm keeping everything. I'm so bad at like getting rid of stuff as you guys can probably tell. Um, this is, I'm going to keep this. This is a piece of jewelry that I got for my graduation actually and it's pretty nice and I think it's like a, a nicer brand so I'll keep that it might look cute with like a white turtleneck or something okay this is another cross crucifix necklace that I think is also from my grandma I don't know if I need both of these so this one I don't know I'll have to ask my mom if I should keep this or not I have a hard time getting rid of pieces that 
I have inherited, like, from my family and stuff, just because I feel like I, I feel like I shouldn't get rid of them, um, so I'll have to ask my mom, this is gonna be, like, on standby if maybe, like, she wants it, I don't think she wears necklaces like this that often, but it might just be something that I have to keep, just for the sake of keeping it, um, this bracelet, my sister actually got me, it has a bunch of different, like, bones on it and stuff, I don't know if I will wear it all that frequently, but, it's something thoughtful, so I'm going to keep that. This, I don't think I'm going to keep any of this. This is like the Virgin Mary necklace. This is probably stuff for my grandma, but I don't foresee myself wearing that. Um, this is all tangled up, and I don't really care for that. So that is going to be gone as well. This is a bigger disc like thing I don't think I'm gonna keep this because I already kept that other one that one's a little too large of a pendant for me this one again it's not too nice so I'm gonna get rid of that and this is just a simple like gold necklace so I think I'm gonna keep this one because it is just like a a little like chain that you can wear with a tighter top or something so I will hang on to that one okay what is in this box I'm nervous watch yeah I'm never gonna wear that in my life so that is a no this is a little like your standard Tiffany bracelet that my parents actually got me for my 16th birthday so I'm gonna hang on to this one and I'm gonna keep this in the box and store it somewhere that's not in that organizational thing because it deserves to be somewhere like a little bit nicer than in that so I'll have to find a separate spot for that this is my movement watch or MVMT if you say it like that but um Nico actually got me this for Christmas one year I really like the box of this so I think I'm going to keep this in the box it just doesn't feel like something that I should throw away because it is like a nice quality box so I'm going to hang on to this but I'll probably put this in the same space that I put that Tiffany bracelet in because it's in a bigger box it won't fit in that thing Okay, and lastly for the boxes, this is going to stay in the box too. Um, I think this is a ring that my grandma actually got me for, I think it was my 16th birthday before she passed away. And it's like a diamond ring, so it's pretty special. And I'm going to hang on to that. I don't wear it all that often because I don't want to lose it. But on special occasions, I do wear it. And I want to just keep it somewhere safer than in that. So I'll keep that in the box as well. Okay, this is all of the stuff that... Is a little bit more like costumey and things that I'll probably be getting rid of most of. So let's just dump all of this out. It's gonna be a big, huge mess. I can already tell, but we're gonna get through it. Oh goodness. Okay, I'll take this off of the tag at least. This is a necklace from Elkhead State. It's like a little, like bull one, and I think it's super cute. I haven't worn it yet though, but I'm gonna hang on to that since I haven't worn it yet and I do plan on wearing it at some point this one I'm gonna get rid of it's just this necklace I think it's from American Eagle but I don't really care for it it's a little too big for me so I'm gonna be getting rid of that this is one that I will keep it's just this kind of like edgier silver necklace which I'll probably wear and there's a gold one like it too so I will keep that one okay this I don't really like too much but I think my dad got me this and it was like specifically only my dad bought it and my dad doesn't really pick out like jewelry or like gifts that much so I'm gonna hang on to this even though I don't know when I will wear it but it's just something that I feel like I should hang on to this is just a little like silver necklace so I think I'm gonna keep that because it's nice and cute just to throw on okay this I'm gonna get rid of I don't know what this is but it's not staying here Okay, this one I, oh, there's two stuff here. This one I'm going to get rid of. It's like a best friend's necklace that I had when I was little. I honestly don't remember who it was with. So I'm just going to pass that along. I got this one at the beach. I forget what the store's name is, but I think this is super cute. It's like um, kind of like Pangea, but separated a little bit. So I think that's really cute. So I'm going to hang on to that. This one is a little red necklace. I don't think I'm going to keep this one just because I never wear it. So that will go by. We have another huge knot. 
This one is a longer necklace from Alpert Sam. I'm going to hang on to this because I do wear it pretty frequently. This is another, like, kind of bigger pendant necklace, but I think this one is kind of cute, especially with, like, a turtleneck or, like, in the springtime or something, so I will hang on to that one, too. This one is good for, like, school dances or something. I don't know if I'm going to keep this or I might pass it on to my sister since she is entering that part of her life where she goes to, like, homecomings and formals and proms and stuff like that, so... This will be one that I'll keep for right now, but I'll see if she wants to put that in her room with all of her stuff since I don't really wear it that much. Okay, this one I'm going to hang on to. Nico got me this one for, I don't know if it was my birthday or Valentine's Day or something, but it has this cute little rose on it and it reminds me of like the bachelor or bachelorette whenever they're like, well, you accept this rose. Um, anyways, so I'm going to hang on to that one because I think it's cute and he got that for me. And then this one here is another best, or no, this is a sister one. I don't even know if my sister has the other part of this anymore, but I am never really going to wear that and there's no use in it taking up space when it doesn't need to. Oh my god, this layered necklace is a pain in the butt. It always gets tangled. Okay, I just spent like the last 15 minutes trying to untangle these ones and they're finally done. This one still is like a little messed up here, but... I'm gonna deal with that later. So I'm gonna keep this one as a layer necklace and I just got this this summer or this past summer so I'm gonna hang on to that and then this one is a longer necklace. This one is from Altered State I believe and this one has like this cute little like coin pattern on it. So I'm gonna hang on to that one. Okay this bag is empty so we're trucking along. These things I think go to like a watch face or something and I don't have it. So those are gonna go away. Okay, so these bracelets I don't think I'm gonna hang on to because I never wear them, so I will give those away. This little one with this quote on it, I think I'm gonna keep because I think it's cute and it's just like a simple leather bracelet. This one is one from my great aunt, I think, so I'm gonna hang on to that one because it is kind of special. This is another one that is kind of dressier, so I'm going to hang on to that. This pearl one I could always use, so I'll hang on to that one too. I think this is like a kid's one or something. I doesn't, it will not fit my wrist. It might have broken too. That's a little weird. So I'm going to get rid of that one because why would I keep if it doesn't fit? This is another just random bracelet I'm not going to keep because I'll never wear that. This is like a shell one. This will probably be cute for the beach, so I'm going to keep that. This is another just simple like gold one. I'll keep that one. I'm gonna get rid of this watch because A, it doesn't work and I'm never gonna wear this. So that's gonna go. This one I don't feel like I'll ever wear. So I'm gonna get rid of that one too. I'll keep this one because it's a little bit dressier and I might need it or my sister might need it for something. These bangles I'm gonna get rid of because I never wear them. Um, this is just a little, like, gold, or this is, like, a little, kind of, like, Alex and Ani type bracelet, so I'll keep that, because I think it's a little bit cuter. This heart one, I don't see myself wearing, so I'm gonna get rid of that. Same with this cross one, I don't think I'll wear that. This one has an M on it. I have a hard time with, like, these personalized sort of things, because I'm like, well, no one else is gonna use it, but then I'm like, there's plenty of people who go to the thrift store that have the name that starts with M, so I think I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to get rid of these bangles, too, because I don't see myself wearing them. I'll keep this bracelet because I think it's cute and a little bit dressier. Um, these ones, I don't think I want this gold one. I'll keep this, like, rhinestone one and this bigger one. So I think those ones are the cuter of the, the couple that was in the pack. This little gold tennis bracelet... I think I'm going to hang on to just until I get a new tennis bracelet. So yeah, I'll hang on to this one. This is another watch face thing that I don't need. I'll keep this bigger one just because it's a little bit dressier. Same with this. I think this is for my grandma, so I'll keep that one. This is similar to that. This is my Pandora bracelet, so I'll hang on to this one, even though I don't really wear it and I need to put new gems on it. This is another watch face thing that I don't need. Oh, those might go to this watch. Well, I might as well get rid of the watch too if I don't have any of those. Um, this is like a stud one. This kind of looks like one of those like dog collar things. 
I'm going to get rid of that because I don't see myself wearing it. Same with this blue one. It's from Charming Charlie's and I don't think I need that. I'm going to hang on to this ring so I'll make a new pile for rings there. This is a rosary so I'll probably hang on to that. It was from a comedian I believe. Alright now this bag is empty so we are moving right along and now we're going to get into this bigger thing here. So let's just start with the bottom drawer. So these are all earrings. All of these are in my statement earring video if you guys want to go watch that. I did a while back on my channel but I think all of these I'm going to keep because they are relatively new and I do wear them pretty frequently. So I'm just going to put all of these in the keep pile. Okay moving on to this. This is a bracelet that Nico and I have. It's like one of these distance bracelet ones so I'm going to hang on to that obviously. This is a bracelet that my sister made all of us for vacation so I don't really feel like I need to hang on to this but I might just put it somewhere so that she knows I kept it. Um, and then I will keep this bracelet since my mom got this for my sister and I recently when I went on a trip. I'm going to keep all of these Pura Vitas because I think they are cute and I like to wear them in the summertime once the weather warms up a little bit. This is the wave ring from Pura Vita, so I'm going to hang on to that because it's something I like to wear in the summertime. Again, this I'm going to get rid of. I don't know what this is for, but it's one of those like stretchy bracelets. These I... I guess I'll hang on to these even though I don't really wear them, but I don't know. This is a shell bracelet that I think is cute for the beach, so I will hang on to that. This bag is empty but I'm gonna hang on to these little Pure Vita bags because I like to put my jewelry in them whenever we travel. Okay this is another bag that I'm gonna hang on to for when we travel. These are all of my chokers so let's see. Oh I think I got this in the Dominican Republic. It's like a double choker thing so I'm gonna hang on to that because I don't know I like to keep stuff that I got while traveling just as like a keepsake. This little orange bracelet I don't really want. I'm going to hang on to this choker. Oh, I was wondering where this ring went. I haven't seen that in so long. I think I'm going to get rid of this one because it's like thicker and like gothy kind of. And I don't see myself wearing that one. Same with that one. I don't really see myself wearing it. This one is just like a simple black one with a thing on it. So I'm going to keep that. Okay, before we get into earrings, I'm going to do my rings first. Because I think the earrings will be the hardest part to get through. So most of these I think I'm going to keep with the exception of ones that don't really fit my fingers anymore. So like these ones I don't really care for and they don't fit on my fingers. I will keep all of these like simple ones. Okay, these ones I'm going to keep because they're from the beach. These ones I like. This one I think I'm going to get rid of because it's really like thick and I don't really like those kinds. I'll keep these. This one I'll keep. I wear it like all the time. That one I'll keep. This is a cute elephant one so I'm going to keep that. This one's really thick so I'm going to get rid of that because I don't really care for the thick ones. All these thinner ones I'm going to hang on to and this one I just got so I'll hang on to that as well. Okay these are all of my Alex and Ani bracelets so... Let's see, this is an Alex Nani ring. I'm gonna hang on to that because I think it's cute and I'll hang on to this little bag because I might have a need for that. I'll hang on to these cleaning cloths because you could always use them. I'm gonna keep all of these bracelets. So I'm not gonna go through them all because I know that I'm gonna keep them. I just don't know where I'm gonna store them. I don't know if I wanna keep them in the bags or if I wanna take them out and hang them somewhere. We'll see. But this is also another Alex and Ani rings, so I'll take that out of there and put it with my other rings and this little thing I'm going to get rid of because I don't really need that. I'll keep this bag though. On the other side here, we have, I'll keep these earrings because my aunt just bought me these, so I will hang on to those. This necklace I will keep because Pinko made that. This is a necklace from FabFitFun, it's just pretty simple. And I wear this all the time, so I will hang on to that. This is another pair of earrings that I just got from my aunt. So I'm going to hang on to these ones because I could always use a bigger, like, nicer earring. 
This is a Kate Spade bracelet, so I'm gonna hang on to that and I'll hang on to this little dust bag for it. I don't know why I still have the tag for it, but this is so cute. Um, I really like this. I think Nico got it for me as a gift, but I'll hang on to this bag to put other stuff in. These are Christmas earrings, so I will find a spot for those. This is, I think this is a pack of Kate Spade earrings. So I will hang on to those ones and I'll hang on to this bag. Ooh, this is a necklace. I'm gonna hang on to this one because I just think it's cute and dainty, but I'm gonna put it with my other necklaces and just hang on to this bag for like traveling and stuff. And then lastly, we have my earring drawer left. So this is, I feel like, where most of the decluttering is gonna happen because I don't really wear most of these, but we'll see what we find. Okay, this I'm gonna keep because I think those are cute. Um, this is going to be hard because I don't know where the matches are for any of these. Obviously, they're in here somewhere, but I'm going to have to find the match first before I get rid of them. These little peach ones I'm going to keep because I think they are cute. These um, hoops I will hang on to. Oh, these are little snowflake earrings. I'll hang on to these for like, Christmas time. Okay, these like peacock feather ones. I'm going to get rid of because I'm never going to wear those. These little hoops I think I'm going to keep because they're from my grandma and they're nicer to dress up. These little leaf ones I don't see myself wearing ever so I'm going to get rid of those ones. These double like teardrop ones I never wear so those are going to go. I'll keep these little, oh that's not part of it, I'll keep these little ones because I think those are cute. These ones I'm going to pass along because I will not really wear these right now. All of the studs on these things I think I'm going to hang on to because these are ones that I do wear frequently. So I'm just going to put those with all the other studs. These ones I don't really see myself wearing so I'm going to pass those along. Same with like these light bulb looking ones. It might be easier if I just dump that out. Okay, these ones I am going to get rid of because I don't wear them that often. These longer ones I'm going to hang on to because they match that longer necklace. These ones I'm going to keep because I think they're cute and like tropical. I think I got these from Hawaii as a gift. These ones I'm going to pass along because I don't see myself wearing them at all. Same goes for these like blue ones. I don't want those. These ones I'm going to pass along too. They're just like these little dangles, but I don't really care for them. I'm going to hang on to these little studs because I think they're kind of like nicer and, I don't know, kind of fancy looking. I'm going to pass along these like dangly ones because I don't need those. Ooh, this is like a little hoop thing. I might be able to put this in my cartilage, so I'm going to hang on to that. Okay, these ones I'm going to keep because I wore these to prom with Nico, so I will hang on to those. I'm gonna hang on to those little like sun ones because I think they're cute once I find the match to that. These are a match and they're just little studs so I'm gonna hang on to those ones. These ones I am gonna hang on to for like a dressier occasion. I'm gonna hang on to these like rose gold studs. This is the sun one that I will keep. I'm gonna pass along these flowers. These are like a darker stud I think I'm gonna hang on to but I think I'm gonna get rid of this like grayish pair. I'm gonna hang on to these cute little blue teardrop ones. Okay, so most of these I think I'm gonna be getting rid of with the exception of a few of them, and a lot of them are just studs that I need to find the matches to. So I'm gonna go ahead and sort through these things and then go ahead and put everything in the box, and I will show you guys how we organize everything in there, what the final product looks like, and the pile of everything that I am getting rid of. Okay, so this is everything that I am going to be keeping. My sister put these bracelets back in the keep pile because she said I need to keep them since she made them. <laughs> but anyways, this is everything that I am going to be keeping, well at least planning on keeping. I might have to trim it down a little more depending on what I can fit into the storage thing. And then that is my declutter pile as of right now, but that might be growing depending on what I get rid of. If I can't fit everything and these are all of the earrings that I decided to get rid of they're just all these like little studs that I honestly probably have other similar ones too in my collection so I don't need those okay so I pretty much finished putting everything in here so I wanted to show you guys the 
final product so over here i just have some necklaces obviously these are the only earrings that i could fit on here obviously i have more space for other ones but for them to actually stay on here they have to have like that curved back so that you can like stick it through and i don't have too many like bigger earrings that have that so these are the only ones that i was able to put on there as of right now down here i have all of my rings with space for like one or two more these are all of my studs i don't really love how this is organized because i thought i was going to have enough to fill up the whole thing but this is all we have as of right now but i think that this cork board works well for those and then up here I just have some like chokers and bracelets that have like randomly been thrown in there and I have to, I don't really like the way that looks but I don't really have anywhere else to put them. And then over here I just did some more necklaces. I didn't hang anything on this bar because I was afraid it was get, going to get tangled. And then down here I have some of my bigger necklaces. I have to space it out a little bit more so that it looks kind of nicer and not off-centered but... This is everything as of right now. Let's see if it closes. Perfect. And then down here, I wasn't able to fit my bracelets in that thing, so I just threw all of the extra bracelets in there because I didn't necessarily want to hang them on this bar because I feel like if they were like colorful or something, I didn't want that to like ruin the way that it looks so that's why I just put them in this little box here which is kind of nice because I didn't know what to put in this box before I just like had it and then over on the other side of my room on this little like chest of drawers I have in this little pot that I got at Target all of my other statement earrings that don't have that kind of back so like the ones that are flat on the back like that that weren't able to hang on that wire board or like my hoops that weren't able to hang on that either. I have all of those ones in there and then I just threw all the extra bags that I had in this little Pura Vita bag so that way I have a bag of extra bags in case I should need it. And then in this little box here, it cleverly says rings and things on it, but I have um, all my rings that I wasn't able to fit in the little part in the storage thing because for example, they're like a little too wide in the back to actually fit in. Um, that little slot so that's why I just have them kept in there but I think that is everything for thing um I don't really know where to put this box these things aren't staying here but I wasn't able to fit that movement watch the ring and the Tiffany bat or the Tiffany bracelet and then all these Alex and Ani bags anywhere else so I just have them in this box and then it's most likely gonna go like in my armoire or under my bed or something so that way this isn't just like laying out on my dresser but I think that is everything but one more time I just wanted to show you everything that I am getting rid of so I think that is a pretty generous pile so I will have my mom and sister look through it and then all the things that they don't want I will probably just donate so yay I'm glad that I kind of streamlined my collection a little bit so I hope you guys enjoyed this declutter video. This is actually the first declutter that I've done on my channel, I think. So if you guys want to see other ones, like maybe makeup declutter or I just decluttered some of my clothes. But once that time rolls around again, I could definitely do that too. So give this video a thumbs up if you like this style of video. Make sure you subscribe down below before you leave. And I can't wait to see you guys in my next one. Bye.